Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and today I'm gonna show you how to solve the driver verifier DMA violation error on Windows 11 in no time. So the first solution that you should always take in consideration is to update your drivers. Now to do this right click the Windows button then select device manager from the list of options and then in here locate any problematic device that maybe has an exclamation icon, expand that section then right click on the problematic device and select the update driver option. Now click on search automatically for drivers and Windows will try to locate the best available drivers for your PC. Afterwards you can just restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. Moving on, another useful solution is to run SFC and DISM scans. Now to do this press the Windows button then type in CMD and then run command prompt as an administrator. And now in the command prompt window make sure to copy paste the following commands that I posted in the description below but copy paste each command then press on enter. Afterwards wait a bit because the scans can take a bit of time and then restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. Another useful solution is to perform a system restore. To do this press the windows button then type in RSTRUI and select it as a run command from the search result. In here click on next and then choose the earliest point in time before the problem occurred then click on next once again and lastly click on finish to start the restoration process. Now just wait until everything is done then restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. And lastly another useful solution is to reset Windows 11. To do this press the Windows button then click on the settings icon Afterwards click on system on the left pane and then on the right side scroll down until you find the recovery section and just click on it. Now just click on reset PC and from here on make sure to follow the on-screen instructions with your personal preferences then wait until Windows will reset your PC and afterwards you can check if the problems still persist. And that's it. Super simple, isn't it? Of course, if this video helped you make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more quality content. Thanks for watching.